I think one of the greatest things about being a part of Comeback Kids Society is we actually see results and not, you know, maybe not in a day, but sometimes it's three months and sometimes it's three years, but we're getting to watch these kids transform in front of our eyes. We have 10 uh, group homes in the state. Some we work with OJA youth and some we work with kids that are in DHS custody. Those kids um, have kind of experienced a lot of trauma. We really are working to try to find them healing and then get them back into the community. We have four to five programs going weekly. We've got our turnaround program, which is our juvenile detention center. We have our higher ground, which is one-on-one -on -one mentoring. We have our planted program, which is in the high schools so where we do group programs. Uproar, which is our Tuesday night program, is a group program as well. And then our last program is called Saturday Sandies, which is every third Saturday where we feed the homeless. So we are seeing probably about 120 students a week in between those, um, in and out of those programs. It gives the kids um, like a sense of hope which is crazy because like at the facility, they see us all the time, you know, they always see us, we're familiar faces, and they're like, okay, you know, we want to see new people. These kids come from all over, um, from different counties, from different states. Uh, we have had children that have uh, been in the DHS system, we've had children that have been in the foster system, we've had children that have been juvenile, they've been adjudicated. These young people come from every walks of life. That's the thing about our kids, they do really, really well when they know what's coming. The predictability about it, because a lot of them, you know, their past has been kind of up in the air. I don't know what we're going to do today, where we're going to stay, where we're going to eat. So predictability is really, really important, and that's one thing that the Comeback Kids bring. It's not about, hey, I want to I've got community service that I need to do, or I've got hours that I need to meet for college, but uh, they are genuinely showing up for those kids. They feel connected to them. We need other people to be involved with our kids, but that it's actually going to be good influencers for our children that are growing up in this world where sometimes we're doing our best that we can, but sometimes it's not good enough because we don't know how to love them for who they are. They see it as, hey, these are people that just want to hang out with us. So it's a different feel. Yes, we care for the kids, but they look at it again as like, y'all have to care for us. Like, y'all gotta do this stuff. But you guys don't. That's one of the biggest differences. I like talking to people, getting motivated, uh, because they tell us about things that, that they could have done that they didn't, like get a college degree. And that motivates me to get a college degree, get a high school diploma. Things like that. We talk about, on the Tuesday nights, we talk about different subjects like between anger, depression, savings, school. It's always a different subject. I grew up with major depression and this as the groups have helped me kind of control my emotions and help my uh, depression a little bit. Uh, we're seeing a lot of less negative behaviors because the kids are able to plug in and it's been great to have mentors. They're really getting connected with people, playing sports, hanging out. So it's been a great, great thing. We get to stay up. Uh, we get to talk, play, dance, sing, and make stuff. They're engaged and they're giving feedback and they're keeping it real and honest and raw. And that gives us content to go off of. And so sometimes we go off topic and we go off script, but I tell people I like it when we do that. They have a lot of life to share with us. They have been through a lot of experiences and some more than others are ready to share that because maybe they haven't had too many people that are gonna sit there and, and listen. To know that regardless of what they've done and how they've gotten here, that truly that they are somebody and thank you, Come Back Kids Society and your team truly for making a difference in their lives. It doesn't matter where they come from, it's not where they come from, but it's where they're going. And so we wanna just say that you all are truly changing lives and I thank you.